In this video, we explain what a packet is and packet structure. When data is sent over long distances, it's normally broken down into packets, and packets tend to be quite small in size. The advantage of doing this is that smaller packets are easier to control than a single long stream of data. Each packet is therefore also able to take its own route to the destination. And of course, this adds redundancy to data transmission if a particular route goes down or becomes busy. Obviously, there's a disadvantage to breaking a single message up into packets. These packets then require careful construction and some additional information so they can be reassembled at the destination correctly. So you need to understand the basic structure of a packet. And as far as you're concerned, each data packet contains three main parts. And you can think of these like a letter in an envelope. So first we have the packet header. You can think of this as the front of an envelope. It contains the destination IP address of where the packet has to go to. It also contains the sender's IP address. So that's where the letter came from. And it also contains a packet number or packet sequence number. For example, this is letter one or five. We then have what's known as the payload. So you can think of this as the contents of the envelope. This is the actual data being transmitted. And finally, we have what's called the trailer. You can think of this as the back of the envelope. And this is some way which marks the end of a packet. It's really important to have a common way of determining when one packet ends and another begins. So as a summary, when data is sent over long distances, it's normally broken down into small packets. They contain three parts, the packet header, the payload and the trailer. Now that's technically all you need to know for the IGCSE, but if you want to learn a little bit more and looking to study this further, then watch the rest of this video. So the structure of packets is a lot more complicated than is being presented here, although the information on the screen is all you need to know for your exam. When studying this topic further, you'll discover there's a lot more information which is wrapped up around a packet before it's sent. For example, we also have source and destination MAC address in the header, and we have error checking information in the trailer.